Hello, welcome to Kellogg Public Library's virtual story time. My name is Sherry. The story I'm going to share with you today is Wolfie the Bunny, written by Ann Dykeman, illustrated by Zachariah Ahora. The bunny family came home to find a bundle outside their door. They peeked. They gasped. It was a baby wolf. He's adorable, said Mama. He's ours, said Papa. He's going to eat us all, said Dot, but Mama and Papa were too smitten to listen. Wolfie slept through the night. Dot did not. Mama served carrots for breakfast. He likes them, said Mama. He's a good eater, said Papa. Speaking of eating, said Dot, he's going to eat us all up. But Mama and Papa were too busy taking pictures to listen. Dot's friends came by to see the baby. He's sleeping, whispered Mama. He's a good sleeper, whispered Papa. He's going to eat us all up, they screamed. No kidding, said Dot. Let's play at your house. For the first time, Wolfie cried, but Dot was too far away to hear him. When Dot returned, Wolfie was waiting. Everywhere Dot went, Wolfie went too. He's drooling on me, said Dot. He's a good drooler, said Papa. The days passed and Wolfie grew, so did his appetite. When Mama opened the cupboard, she got a surprise. The carrots, said Mama. They're gone. He ate them all up, said Dot. Dot fetched the carrot bag, but she did not get far. He wants to help, said Mama. He's a good helper, said Papa. He's going to... Oh, skip it, said Dot. I've got my eye on you, Buster. Wolfie and Dot went to the carrot patch. Dot was picking one last carrot when Wolfie's mouth opened wide. I knew it, cried Dot, but Wolfie wasn't looking at Dot. Dinner, roared the bear. It was Dot's chance to run away. Instead, she ran forward. Let him go, Dot demanded, or I'll eat you all up. The bear blinked. You're a bunny, he said. I'm a hungry bunny, said Dot. But I'm bigger than you, said the bear. I'll start on your toes, said Dot. Help, cried the bear. She's going to eat me all up. Dot relaxed as the bear ran away. We're safe, she said. Then Wolfie pounced. Come on, little brother, let's go home and eat. That is the end of our story. Thank you for joining us today. Goodbye.